Howdy folks, Ursine here. This video is intended to show you all how the .csv custom tuning file works for Retune for Live. Um, so this is probably the most flexible way to retune things in, in uh, Retune for Live. Um, but it does take a little bit of setting up, so let me just show you how I do it. Um, first of all, I start in Excel. Um, Excel kind of has all the tools I need to set one of these things up. So you start with a column 0 through 127. So basically one row per available MIDI note. Um, so that's your first column. It's only two columns. The second column here should be your frequency in hertz that you want to come out when you press this MIDI note. Um, so let me quickly just show you how um, equal temperament would look as this .csv file. Um, and I'll show you how, how simple it is to just uh, fire up an Excel formula to get those results. So um, we start with A4, which is 440 hertz. Um, MIDI note number 69, not quite sure why that is, possibly due to some sexually frustrated computer musicians from the 80s. Um, that's just my theory. So this is 440 hertz, um, and to go above and below, we follow the following formula. So multiply that by 2 um, in an octave, um, so you'll go an octave every 12 notes. So starting here, the numerator should give you 0, so we'll do that minus 69. And the denominator is 12 notes. Um, oh, I've missed the caret here. That's 2 to the power of MIDI note minus 69 over 12. You can Google it um, if you would like to learn more about how this works. But, so that should give you the same note. If you go one half step up, then that generates a frequency value and uh, and so on. So this is why I like using Excel to generate these CSV files for me. Because um, then it's really quick and easy. Um, yeah, so once I go up here, I'll save it as a .csv file. So I'll call this equal temperament. Uh, I totally botched that. Is that right? I don't know. I don't care. Um, so if we load that in, it should sound exactly like equal temperament. Um, so I'll load that tuning file in. Open. Sweet. Okay, it does. Alright, well, um, so let's just tweak something so you believe me that it actually works. So let's say, um, starting at MIDI note 69, I'm going to go up by exactly 100 hertz every time. So this is 540, this is 640. This is 740. Let's see if Excel can predict what it's doing. 840, 940, 1040. Yeah, so this is going to sound really dumb and funky because it's like a linear mapping. Oh, wait. Really? Okay, well, it'll. So step in Excel. Oh, I see. Here, let's just do this. It was misunderstanding what I wanted from it. Okay, so that's the tuning where you go up 100 hertz every MIDI note, and it's going to sound like total poo. But just to prove the point, oh, you can't go 
negative. Actually, you can, and it'll correct you, and it won't let you play it. But there we go. So let's uh, let's save this. So, haha, this is no longer equal temperament. But let's load it in. Hopefully, it doesn't break it because that was negative numbers. But all right. Okay. Here we are. Oh, did I break it? There we go. Oh, starting at A, right. There we go. Right, so this... It's not really a tuning. but perhaps slightly interesting um, to mess with. Just kind of wanted to show off how flexible this method of generating a tuning is. Um, yeah, so it looks like any of these negative numbers that are going in here make like an awful high-pitched sound, so that's a <laughs> pretty cool bug. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can make your own CSV files with Excel. Load them in to Ableton Live and tune things to your heart's content. Okay, I really hope you all are enjoying Retune for Live. I'd love to hear what you think of it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments or send me an email. My email is in the readme. So yeah, all the best folks. Uh, Ursine out.